welcome back to IFG headquarters. This video is one of our stepping stones. So if you remember what the stepping stones are about, it's just our way to make it as easy as possible for the IFG community to do the things that it takes to live the life they want. The stepping stones are also supposed to be a little fun. That's why these videos are always with them. Provide some education. And they always want to be a guide to help our clients really do the things that most people never get around to doing. Okay, this stepping stone is all about the spending plan. And before I even get to the spending plan, Jan it's no coincidence that we do this in January. But here's what I challenge everyone to do first. Next family dinner you have, of course, take some time. Reflect on 2018. Go over what you're most excited about, your greatest accomplishments, and then also ask everyone in your family to do the same. And then start looking towards 2019, talking about what they're most excited about into the future. The spending plan is the fuel that allows us to achieve the life we want. It, it, it what, it's what connects the dots between our goals and our income. We have to translate our income into our future goals. Level one of your spending plan is first and foremost, tracking your receipts. Yes, this is a few months of our receipts. It's something I do personally as well. But what you wanna do is get in your checkbook, look at your receipts. If you use QuickBooks, any online, any apps, take a look at those, or maybe even just simply looking at your credit card receipts. What is critical? It is a proven habit. Millionaires know where every dollar goes. So your spending plan is that accountability. It helps you confirm where all of your money went and it lets you attach that to, are you happy with the results? Level two of reviewing your spending plan is all about measuring where your cash reserve is, where your debt levels are, and really going beyond saving to investing. And as you know, just putting money back in your cash reserve is not saving and investing. What we're talking about is your after-tax savings. Again, there's a strong correlation for people who can save after tax and who ultimately become debt-free millionaires. What I wanna close with is a challenge. We probably only have about 10, 20, 30% of our clients that actively engage in doing a spending plan every single year, and maybe another 10 or 20 or 30% that do it every couple of years with us. So we're probably right around 50% at best in helping our clients with their spending plan, yet it's one of the strongest indicators of ever achieving financial independence. 70, 80% of millionaires today still do a spending plan. That's it from IFG Headquarters. Have a good night.